I always knew the Saints were ambitious, but I never thought I'd... It's not too much trouble. I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zen programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this.
fellow Americans. I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe, but there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right. Fuck up, Matt.
I know where they're keeping Kinsey. Keith. We had a deal, my friend. Now what am I supposed to do with a naughty little boy like you? Ah. Enjoy your requiem, Mr. Dane. <laughs> Matt, do you have a line on Keith? Miller, are you there? This is off to a great start. Crazy mother! Hey! Stay away from me! Keith, you know better! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch! I'm trying to save your life! You couldn't even save your own. Keith! Listen to me! I'm giving you a choice. Get away from me! Let him go! They have him bad. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Sure. Why not? Well, Prez, we got visitors. win my arguments. What's wrong with Keith? He's going crazy. He thinks we're all out to kill him. Hope he still remembers where Kinsey is. What is this place? A television broadcasting tower. What the hell's he gonna do with a broadcast tower? He's a crazy man with a microphone. What do you think he's gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen of America, the threat is right in front of us. An alien presence has taken over your friends and family. It's everyone you know, everyone you see. Nobody can be trusted, least of all... Keith, I'm on your side. You gotta trust me. Keith, listen to me. The Zinyak guy is bad fucking news. You! He's headed for the roof!
Oh, we'll know the truth. The satellite's what's controlling Keith. You take care of it, I'll handle it. I'll take out the CIDs. The what? Forget it. Just stop Keith. I'm up for more. No, the brainwashing is too ingrained. I'll have to feed it on it. If you want to know where your friend is, now's the time to ask. Where is Kenzie, Keith? Where did Zinyak put Kenzie? Tell me, Keith! She's... She's... She's in...
have some unresolved issues. You don't know what happened, kid. Now come on, we've got to save Kinsey. Wish we could call Roddy for help. No one calls Roddy for help. He shows up where he's needed most. Let's go. Data received. Hmm. Very interesting. It seems... Something's wrong. Sid, talk to me! I don't know. I... 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 Oh, here I go! So, uh, maybe I should follow Sid? I'm going to hack the code to find out where Sid is going. Keep your hands out of that code. don't seem very Kinsey. If I had to guess, it looks like this sigil is connected to some sort of secret room. A secret room? Okay, that does sound like her. Almost afraid to see what's in it. Absolutely. The fuck is all this? A map of the simulation. Where are all the broken shillelaghs? If it would make the map more understandable to you, I could create a holocaust. God, no. We're good. So can you find Kinsey? In theory, yes. The time-consuming part will be identifying Kinsey's brainwaves in a sea of other data. Find whatever looks the most abnormal. It's probably her. Insulting, yet accurate. Good luck. Aw, oh, man, this place? F*** me. Kinsey, come on, let's make ourselves scarce. If you want to speak with my husband, he'll be home this afternoon. Kinsey? Say, I'm afraid I don't have much of a green thumb. Oh, can you help me get this bulb to sit right? F*** 
flowers. We gotta go. What? What are you doing? Hurry! I'm being held captive by... Kenzie! Where'd she go? Ooh, that must have been a decoy. That's smart. See if there are any more around. I'm glad there's no driving up at age limit. Come on, I borrowed that! This makes getting to work. Another Kinsey ahead. Should I wait? Ah, f what's going on? The cops have Kinsey. Oh, no. Some dual ball. Did you want something? Oh, I love action. I'll drive up your f***ing tailpipe! I really hope this is the real you. Golly! That bump sure was a doozy, wasn't it? Get to City Hall! Hurry! God, that's disturbing. Do you remember Cyrus Temple? The paramilitary thug who tried to save America by destroying it with a big-ass nuclear missile? Yeah, we crossed paths. He's... In charge here. No way. Uh-uh, isn't that f***er dead? Not in Kinsey's mind, no. So much... If he borrows it... Man, I've got eyes on Cyrus, but he's like 20 years younger and dressed normal, more or less. There's Kinsey. Hook me up with some firepower. I can't! You are no f***ing help, and I can't listen to this garbage one more minute. He has speaker boxes all over town. If you really want to shut him up, you have to take them all out. I will enforce the, the hell was that? To make our society the well-oiled machine it needs to be in order for us to all talk. Our world is too precious for us to confuse the natural world. What does this switch do? Men are built for labor. It shows in our firm jawlines, our strong back. Hey, buddy, if you don't find a way to give me some kind of weapon... I'm telling you, this simulation is locked. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's excited. This can't end well. I've left you something in a weapons crate. What is this? Am I fighting or throwing a block party? I told you, no weapons allowed. But the power of music can overcome all obstacles. Ah, f*** it, I'm in. Let the music play. I swear I'm gonna punch him in the throat. There are two more! Propaganda truck, huh? Come at me! It's time you had a lesson in men.
shove these wires up his ass. I will continue this town's tradition of quiet peace. No more to go. Taking down Cyrus now. Time for our final dance off. Which is. I'll see. The Sam Hill? I thought this was a party. Let's dance! Since now, you hoodlum. You wanna dance? Dance with me. Hey, I've got a new track for you to try. Bring it on. I'm uploading it now. Give it a shot. It's just keep on coming. Please. At least give me a challenge.
Kinsey, you're okay. You don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kinsey, it really wasn't all that. I said anyone. Hey, the poodle skirt. has been a thorn in my side far too long. As if he wasn't bad enough in real life, the even more messed up virtual one has invaded the simulation. We're going to Sierra Point to destroy his base and end him once and for all. Is Cyrus really that bad of a guy? Are you kidding me? He's... Whoa, kidding. I... He put me in. You saw. Huh. There I am thinking. This might be about the time you try to nuke the U.S. That Cyrus is dead. This Cyrus is running rampant in the simulation. I've managed to shut him down each time before things got too hairy, but he's getting stronger, bolder, and it's time for him to stop. Wait, Cyrus is breaking into the simulation and this is the first I've heard of it? I guess I thought you were a little busy freeing your friends, avenging the Earth, and tracking down a maniacal alien overlord. That's not for- Blow everything up! Well, oh, someone sure is ex- What about taking the fight to the enemy? Just get in a tank already! Reporting for duty! Enemy ship flying in!
break into this simulation. This incarnation of Cyrus came from my subconscious. I can only assume he took some of my knowledge about how this whole thing works with him. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? Do you realize how crazy everything since we were abducted from the White House sounds? I'm just trying to roll with the punches and not dwell on the absurdity. somewhere.
mission completely. When did you have time to do that? Just before I was kidnapped. Probably why Zinyak went after me, actually. So what do my two biggest brains recommend? If I can hack directly into the main system, then I can bring down the walls between simulations and force Zinyak to divert an enormous amount of resources to keeping it from crashing altogether. But we want it all to crash, right? Oh, it will. He won't be able to stop it. But for now, what I need from you is parts. For a key. You mean like a house key or a car key? Uh, not that kind of key. Anyway, that will be there to help you. Remember, this is important. signed on to head the STAG initiative, I figured it would be a cushy job. After all, hitting a military organization thugs, seemed like a one-sided battle. The Saints changed that perspective quickly. Monica Hughes had no idea what she was sending me into. to assemble the key are the central processing unit, memory modules, and gravity inhibitors. I've located a CPU at the old Steelport Guard Armory. While you get that, I'll look around for the other stuff. You mind telling us what this thing looks like? Uh, some computer tech thing. How should I know? It's a central processing unit. It's for... You know what? I'll point it out when you get close. Jeez. Works for me. Saints is insane. We expected them to tear through steel, but no one knew what they were really capable of. We're here, Kinsey, but I'm not sure where to start looking. In one of the crates around the armory. Well, it's shut, though. So use your telekinesis to put the doors open. I thought you knew where it was. I do. In one of the crates around the armory. Okay, okay, no need to get touchy. She's always like this, Johnny. I used to it. Right on. I'll grab one of these assault choppers and meet you there, boss. Just don't kill everyone before I get a few shots in. Johnny, I got a long way to go before I catch up to your body count. You should be able to find generators on the floating platforms around the towers. Destroy them and take their modules. Whoa, we're breaking pinatas now? No, the generators are made up of a lot of different parts. You just need one thing from them, and the fastest way to get them out is to destroy them. And that doesn't damage the module? That doesn't make any sense. It's a simulation. Yeah. 
have a good time. are at the dock, though it looks like they're trying to put a force field up around the area. Get moving fast before they block you out. Yo, don't wait for me. I'll be right behind you. Check. like the last generator, so why didn't I grab their inhibitors? And, and shouldn't something called a gravity inhibitor float like a balloon? Because obviously the last generators didn't have them since they were on floating platforms. Sure, okay. Still doesn't explain the balloon part. Because they're not turned on? She doesn't know, does she? Not that she'll admit it. I'll get to you. Kinsey, keep an eye on us. Right. Damn it, I'm not gonna make it. This thing's going down. Crash land if you have to. Hold on. I'm sending in Shandi to pick you guys up. Shandi, you better be okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Good. We got plenty more aliens to kill. Seems like I picked a hell of a spot to crash, though. Bob? Johnny? You there? We're still kicking. I'm only a few seconds out. Don't worry, I am not letting anything happen to Johnny. Uh, to you too. Eh, nothing. 
When Shandi gets there, make sure the area is clear so she can land. Will do. Is all clear. All right, land in this thing. Let's deliver this shit to Kinsey. She's a little cranky after the poodle skirt incident. I'd say it's a tough world for someone to live in, but I'd be lying. Well, if they were the god of the cyber world like I was, that is. Put me in front of the latest technology and there wasn't anything I couldn't do. Even the FBI couldn't stop me. Believe me, they tried. Kinsey Kensington came close, but a few additions to her file and some photos and... even she couldn't come close to crashing my fun. Probably why I was recruited into the Syndicate in the first place.
Working for the Syndicate was a great job. That is until Philippe Loren died, because Kilbane was one my scary psychopath. I mean, I watched him kill Kiki right in front of me, and right in front of her own sister. So I went after the Saints instead. The wrong choice on my part. But they let me live, and surprisingly, so did Kilbane. The only option then was to leave the country and hide. How was I supposed to know that MI6 would end up offering me asylum just so they could pair me up with one of their operatives? I mean, Nasha and I got along great, but now I had to work with the government instead of against it. Not usually my cup of tea. Still, I guess it's better than being hunted down by the Saints or Kilbane. I just have to keep myself from pissing off a trained killer is all. <laughs>
I should see if Planet Zen has any kilts in stock.
have found a compatible power source for the key. Predictably, it is from these cells make it impossible for me to pinpoint the exact locations, but I should be able to determine the general areas of the three we need. What's the plan, Sid? I have marked the general location for the first power cell, though I am surprised Kinsey also sent along fake Shondi to help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fake Shondi? Kinsey explained to me that Shondi had a doppelganger who hated pants and was very friendly. Yeah, that's me. But fake? I'm standing right here. Do not shoot the messenger. Frankly, you sound more fun than the other Shondi. And I love your hair. Oh, thanks. Sensors detect a cell is in this area. The closer we get to it, the more precise I can be. Whoa, this thing's pretty handy to have around. You have no idea. I have many uses. You don't double as a bomb, do you? For you, I would find a way. Check it out, a UFO! Zinyak's fighter ships engaging. Enemy ship approaching. Cell detected.
advancing. Zinyak's fighter ships engaging. Enemy ship approaching. Zinyak's fighter ships engaging.
enemy ship approaching. Zinyak's fighter ships engaging.
Forget about that, let's go into the story About a girl named blah 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 that adore me So we started talking, getting familiar Spending a lot of time so we can build a relationship Or some understanding how it's gonna be in the future we was planning Everything sounded so dandy and sweet <laughs> Kinsey, you wanna fuck? Let's go. Asha, I respect you too much to bullshit. You don't respect me. No, that's... that's true. What do you want? I'm looking for rough sex and Kinsey scares the shit out of me. I stay on top and you don't get to talk. Deal. You need me to ravage you. Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you.
I'm moving. I have stuff to do, you know.
ass, bitch. I gotta admit, I didn't think much of the boss when they first joined the crew. I thought the no way they were gonna make it through being canonized, let alone be any help taking over Stillwater. Hell, they didn't even talk. Uh -huh. But after that shit with the Vice Kings, I knew we found ourselves one hell of a saint. There's nothing the boss can't do. You like the movies and I like TV. I think it's serious and you think I'm laughing. I go to bed early. It's not far at all. Woo! Our friends are saying we ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm a story. Baby, I'm fast. I like it quiet. And I love the show. Things ain't ever been easy for the saints. First, we lost Lynn to the Rollers back in Stillwater. And then Julius tried blowing up the boss and the Saints fell apart. And after getting the crew back, uh -huh. the Brotherhood had Carlos killed and... Aisha. I lost her to the Rollers. And then fucking Philippe Loren tried kicking me out, only to have Zinyak come in and snatch me from the Shit's always been rough. Aisha's dead. It hit me really hard. I thought I'd made peace with it. Zinyak's fucking simulated hell took its toll. Yeah, I know the whole point was that I'd never be able to save her, but that shit would never 
stop me from trying. <laughs> the boss didn't show up to help. I don't know how much longer. I'm on 
until stay free. Big things happen every time we meet. Like a crack team, crack team, dying to get. Outcasts bumping up and down the street. Slam back, can't let by five to the 75 MCs freeze down to the beat. Cause we get drunk, stay drunk at the club. Should've bought an ounce, but you caught the dub. Should've held back, but you throw the punch. Want to meet you good, but you packed the lunch. No D to the U to the G for you. Got a son on the way by the name of Bamboo. Got a little baby girl, four years old. Never turn my back on my kids for them. Should've hit it, hit it, hit it. Quit the rag, top, top. Boy, you read up, get a laptop. Make a minute for yourself, what says some goals. Make a fat dime out of dusty coal. Reckon I'm a boy, but we on the road. Hold up, slow up, stop, control like Janet. Planet, stay on our fucking way. Just in block quarters. Put it up on bail, cause the women's in order. Like a three piece bitch, before I cut your daughter. You better talk on bail, then I hit the border. Pity pat rapper trying to get the five. I'm a microphone being trying to stay alive. When you come to ATM, boy, well, you better not hide, cause the Dutch family gon' ride. Ha ha! What's your best score? No, no, this isn't about me. Besides, I've had many, many years of experience. No, you just don't want to say, so you can't be beaten. Everybody should do this. Seriously. my sleigh with care. The people of the world rely on my being able to bring them happiness and joy each year. Don't worry, I'm a natural in the air. Well, slave life can be tricky, what with all those presents weighing you down. Ah, that's the same excuse you used when you brought it back dented and missing the front panel back in 1931. Well, at any rate, you can use the sleigh to deliver presents to nice people and cold to those who are naughty. Piece of cake. Slay hold the presence for the entire world. I mean, that's impossible, right? Why elf magic? Of course. It allows for a direct link from my workshop at the North Pole to the bag on the sleigh. The presence just keeps coming. So as Kinsey would probably say, blah blah the mental gateway, blah blah science. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> sound like magic to me. Well, of course you wouldn't understand. You're not an elf. Y yeah, but you're on a spaceship traveling through the cosmos in virtual reality. Magic doesn't exist here. What? I never heard of such rubbish. Magic is the very foundation of the elf world. But science is... It's elf magic. Oh, honey, it's all right. They didn't mean anything by it. Did you? No, not at all. I can totally see how this is elf magic. Not like they could have stopped me.
Archie up on this car. strongest crew in the city. What do we have to fear from them? If their leader wasn't such a greedy asshole, maybe things wouldn't have escalated like they did. So how long have you two been together? Long. Really, really long. And I love her just as much now as I did back then. Oh, it's not always perfect. 
but scientists, it does work out. I imagine it gets pretty lonely up at the North Pole without anyone else around. All the elves are all the friends we need. And each other. That's easy for you to say. You haven't been around the last 50 years. It's like watching over hundreds of children who just want to play with toys and eat candy and pout you in the ass with snowballs all day. But that's part of being an elf. It's only natural for them to be children at heart. Happy elves are the best elves. Yeah? Oh, fine. When you come back, I'm going on vacation for a few decades, and let's see how you handle it. <laughs> I love this. Best part of the job. Did someone order destruction? Is anybody using that? the job. You've been together. Long. Really, really long. And I love her just as much now as I did back then. Oh, well, it's not always perfect, but I admit it does work out. I imagine it gets pretty lonely up at the North Pole without anyone else around. Oh, the elves are all the friends we need and each other. That's easy for you to say. You haven't been around the last 50 years. It's like watching over hundreds of children who just want to play with toys and eat candy and but that's part of being an elf. It's only natural for them to be children at heart. Happy elves are the best elves. Yeah? Oh, fine. When you come back, I'm going on vacation for a few decades, and let's see how you handle it. more often. This is awesome. 
favorite part. So how long have you two been together? Long. Really, really long. And I love her just as much now as I did back then. Oh, it's not only perfect, but I admit it does work out. I imagine it gets pretty lonely up at the North Pole without anyone else around. Oh, the elves are all the friends we need. And each other. That's easy for you to say. You haven't been around the last 50 years. It's like watching over hundreds of children who just want to play with toys and eat candy and pout you in the ass with snowballs all day. But that's part of being an elf. It's only natural for them to be children at heart. Happy elves are the best elves. Yeah? Oh, nice. When you come back, I'm going on vacation for a few decades, and let's see how you handle it. Everybody should do this. Seriously. Emotional here, and that emotion is ass kicking. <laughs> Need more shit to destroy. Anybody using that?
Are you ready to bring happiness to more people of Steelport? I don't think people are very happy about getting hot coals. Well, the holiday season is all about giving and sharing. Coal or not, they are still receiving something. Third degree burns aren't really on anyone's wish list, honey. Then perhaps next year they will learn and end up on the nice list. that, did you? I hate to keep asking questions, but where are the reindeer? Oh, they won't fly with anyone but me. Seems kind of elitist. Oh, it's not that. It's just the last time I let someone else take them out. Well, things didn't go so well. That's an understatement. Prancer got in the fight and came back missing part of his hook. And Mixon came back pregnant. Pregnant? I thought all the reindeer were male. With a name like hers, are you really that surprised? Tell me minds if I take that out, today. How are there any nice people left in this city? Every place on Earth has many people who are on the nice list. Tell the truth, dear. But that is the truth. As long as the holiday spirit is alive and well, there will always be those deserving of presence. The real fact is that standards of what is nice had to be changed a few times. If we went by the original rules, the North Pole would look like a coal mining community. Oh, come on. It can't be that different. Trust me. One spark and the whole world would end up on fire from all the fossil fuel given out. Yeah, take it, face Steelport! I love watching this stuff crumble.
Try to snatch my crops, these pigs wanna blow my house down. Head on to cram to the next town. They get mad when they come to break my pad and I swear in the night. I wonder where Brad is taking me to dinner tonight. of the United Love States of America with a boggy marsh totally motionless except for her heart mud flowed up in a long pajamas she totally confused all the passing piranhas she's up she's up she's in my head she's up she's up she's up she might be dead
must you kiss me. You got the touch! You got the power!
to 97 with the old rock classic, Song 2. Face ruining my town.
to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Holiday Audition! Your goal, grab revelers, menorahs, and trees with telekinesis, and throw them through the matching hoops in the time allowed. Hit multiple hoops with a single object to rack up combos. But aim your shots carefully, because this time, the targets move. Strap on your holiday cheer, because the fun starts right now! I'm Nobby with my partner Wack. On a break from making shoes and wooden ponies. To bring you Professor Genki's latest game for children of all ages. As long as they're adults. It sure feels great to be out of that sweatshop, Nobby. I believe you mean workshop, Wack. <laughs> You'd think so, Nobby. You'd think so. Well, it sure is nice to get some fresh air anyway. Way better than breathing in paint fumes for 16 hours a day, that's for sure. <laughs> well, you, uh, you're not wrong, but, but hey, let's check in on our competitor. People through hoops with your mind is the name of the holidays? Look around you, Wack. Trees, menorahs, the festive spirit, it's all around us. I don't remember any carols about death and dismemberment, Hobby. Hey, be fair now. There's very little dismemberment in mind over murder. Only concussion. Okay, I stand corrected. 
I prefer to think of this game as a metaphor. The people, the Noras, and trees are gifts stuffed in their virtual stocking. The player is not that far off from being Santa Claus, really, when you think about it. Seriously, Nobby. Seriously? <laughs> Stuff with your mind. Okay. Oh, oh whack. <laughs>